Hey there everybody, Chris from Orlando here and I'm out of the closet today, no laughing in the back. And we are here at the Magic Kingdom because overnight statues like these will start popping up around the park. These are the Fab 50, part of the 50th anniversary celebration here at Disney World. So what we're doing today is we're going to go around the park and see if we can find them all. So we are starting here in front of the castle. Of course, we have to start with the big cheese himself, Mickey and Minnie Mouse, right here in front of the castle. Uh, you'll notice the next time you come through, the old bronze statues that used to decorate the area uh, are no longer around. Uh, we'll pause with these guys here. And so yes, the bronze statues that used to decorate this area are no longer here. Uh, they have been replaced by the Fab 50. Right over here we have the ducks, Donald and Daisy. These look really good. Um, hopefully they're well protected against the weather. But we got a few more all around here, right in front of the partner statue, right in front of the castle. We got right over here, we have Chippendale. There they are right there. A lot of people taking pictures with these. As they should. Look at the look at the details on them. And our final pair here in front of the castle. We have Pluto and my boy Goofy. Just look at these. Now supposedly these statues will interact with guests once we actually get to the 50th anniversary. But I'm curious to see how that will go down. Alright, so that's all in front of the castle here. Let's move on to another part of the park. Right across the way from the Crystal Palace, we have this one over here of Winnie the Pooh and Piglet. This one is freaking adorable. I love it so much. Uh, I'm a bit surprised they didn't put it closer to the ride, but you know, the Winnie the Pooh characters usually meet at the Crystal Palace, so this makes sense. It's just so cute. Gotta love best friends. Heading into Adventureland now, we have one that's going to be very easy to miss unless you know where it is. And he's right up there. We have a Pooh from Aladdin. Look at him. Probably stole that from someone else, didn't he? Right next to the Skipper Canteen, we have Orange Bird right over here. Uh, for those of you not in the know, Orange Bird was a character created by Disney uh, for the Florida Citrus Commission in exchange uh, for them sponsoring the Enchanted Tiki Room and the Sunshine Tree Terrace. You can actually see Sunbird on the Sunshine Tree Terrace. That's really hard to say. Signed to this day. And here he is as part of the Fab 50. All right, we are here at Tomorrowland at the iconic purple wall. Right up here we have a oh boy Stitch. If we had had a mascot for the channel, it probably would be Stitch. But yes, Stitch is here at the purple wall, making it even more Instagrammable than it was before. I realize how massive this thing was. I thought it would just be little, but no. This would probably be the size Stitch would be in real life. Next on our tour, we're over here by the Mad Tea Party in Fantasyland and appearing out of nowhere, we have up here in the tree, the Shazire Cat. He's got a nice little blanket he's chilling on. I have no clue. He's tipping his scalp to you, I guess you could say. His big old grin. And then right next to him, of course, since this is the Mad Tea Party, we have the Mad Adder. Wishing you a very merry unbirthday. This has nothing to do with the Fab 50. I'm just appreciating the fact that this ride has less than an hour wait for once. Right across from Pinocchio Village House, we of course have Pinocchio. Right there. The no strings enthusiast. Look at him. He wanted to be a real boy and now he's a statue. This truly is the darkest timeline. Okay, I can't be the only one who's bugged that these guys are a little bit closer to their area. Then we got Lumiere and Cogsworth. 
right here by the carousel. You know, on the one hand, it's sad that like all the stage stuff here is gone. On the other hand, it does give us a nice view out here to Main Street. And right here at the front of the park, right in front, is the goodest of boys and the goodest of girls, Lady and the Tramp. I mean, this one is nice, but I also wish that they designed the statue to make it look like their date. Because, come on, that's what the people want. Actually, psych, we got one more here in the hub. Right over here, in this little alcove, we have Shaka Gus Gus. Uh, tucked away here. I would have thought they'd be over by the Cinderella statue, but they're right here at the hub. Well, so I just noticed that uh, pumpkins around the council this year are based on uh, Cinderella's coach. I don't know if that's always been the case or if it's new this year, but it looks nice. Strangely, not at Storybook Circus, but here on Main Street as well, we have Dumbo and Timothy Q. Mouse. And then they got both of them out here. And finally today, the one I spent way too long looking for because I thought it'd be by the ride, silly me. But at the top of this topiary is Tinkerbell. Very small, very hard, very easy to miss. Unless you know where you're looking. But now, you do know where you're looking. Special monorail for the 50th. You're looking good, monorail gold. Thank you all for joining me here at the Magic Kingdom today for this uh, relatively short video. Uh, this was not only an opportunity to explore what they're going to do for the 50th anniversary here in a few weeks, but also a test run for a big project I have coming down the pipe. So make sure you subscribe for that and tell me which of these statues were your favorite that you saw today or is your favorite statue going to be at one of the other parks because the others are getting them too. So make sure you drop that in the comments down below and hit that like and share and subscribe button to help the channel grow. I'm Chris from Orlando. I hope to be that fabulous when I'm 50. Take care, y'all. One love. Don't hurt nobody.